Let's get back to it. We're going to be playing episode four. Bangkok, I believe it is. Um, so, yeah, let's do it. Um, campaign. We have played all the way through a gilded cage. So, we are on Club 27. Let's do it. Good morning, 47. Your destination is the Himapan Luxury Hotel Resort on the Chao Phraya River, just outside Bangkok. Your main target is Jordan Cross, the lead singer of The Class, a renowned indie rock outfit recording their highly anticipated sophomore album. But this millennial poster boy harbors a dark secret. One year ago, promising young actress Hannah Highmore fell to her death from Cross's penthouse loft in Dumbo, New York. According to the police, Miss Highmore's death was a tragic accident, but her parents remain unconvinced. They firmly believe that Cross murdered Hannah and only escaped justice due to the power and influence of his father, billionaire media mogul Thomas Cross. A secondary target, Ken Morgan, corporate fixer and attorney to the Cross family, is also staying at the hotel. Cunning and unscrupulous, Morgan was a key agent in the cover-up of Hannah Highmore's murder and Jordan Cross's subsequent acquittal. The Highmores understandably want retribution, and while the system may be powerless, ICA is anything but. I will leave you to prepare. I'm not sure if these get increasingly difficult. They seem to get a little bit harder each time, but uh, overall, they're not too bad. Um, I think I'm just playing on like the normal difficulty, Sue, so it shouldn't should be that difficult, you know? And then after we go through everything, maybe we can then sort of increase the difficulty, you know, get rid of some of the uh, outside advantage stuff. Welcome to Bangkok, 47. Ken Morgan has booked the Queen Suite, but is yet to check in. You will find him in and around the restaurant. Oddly enough, Jordan Cross seems completely unaware of his presence. Cross and the class have set up a recording studio in the Emperor's suite on the third floor. Private security around Cross and his entourage is highly capable. Still, I'm sure you can find your way into his inner circle. After all, today is Jordan Cross's 27th birthday. The age when rock stars die. Good luck, 47. Oh, wow. Let's get one of these outfits. They're doing something about the coconut. Those things are crashing like the glass. Staff? Okay. So can't go in there right now, I'm sure. Ooh, what is this? So I want to get that package for Wes, but reception says one of our guys picked it up an hour ago. Uh, must have been Julian. <laughs> yeah, he's with that actress again. Jackie Carrington. I saw him sneak up to a room earlier. Damn it! I was kind of hoping the packing. Yes. Be a guest in this place. We're kind of in the middle of something here. Would you mind? I'm just standing here. My bad. Damn it! I was kind of hoping the package had gotten lost. I mean, I know West Liston is a sucker for all things vintage. Huh? Says it's the best vocal mic of the '60s. So. Producer Wes Liston has ordered a vintage Branson MD2 vocal mic. This rare model was removed from the market in the 1960s after causing a number of electric shock fatalities. Apparently, a production defect makes the MD2 short circuit at high voltages. Sounds promising. I suggest you track down the crewman who picked up the microphone. According to his colleagues, this Julian is romantically involved with Jackie Carrington, a former sitcom star who stays in room 207. Ooh. And the deadliest. An MD2 electric unit found Chamberlain on stage at Glastonbury. The model was taken off the market, for Christ's sake. 207, huh? Come on. Come, come, come. Oh wait, I can't wear this outfit. Um, oops. Oh, 
That's not very helpful. Don't move. That was okay. That'll work. Poison. All right, so that'll work. Crowbars are useful. We can break things with those. According to the hotel manager's memo, drunken members of Jordan Cross's sound crew broke into the Queen Suite last night and trashed the place. Housekeeping is fast at work, which is why Ken Morgan and his bodyguard are not yet settled in. Sounds promising. According to the manager, a member Ooh. of staff is supposed to escort Morgan to his suite once the cleaning staff is done. That someone could be you, 47. I know how you love to grovel. Ooh, that could be it. Besides, the way I hear it, Thomas Cross is a total reckless. Hyperphobic. No, uh, I think just plain old paranoid. He's bought this island off the coast of uh, Costa Rica, and supposedly. Okay, so we need to get one of these people. Possible to dock, so you have to get there by plane. And they say he's got more surveillance than the freaking back. No one heard that. Oh, he's getting up. Okay. That's helpful. Come on, get up. Um, okay. Yeah. I guess we'll do this one at a time. You're about to not see anything. Alright, give me that disguise, please, sir. And give me this coin. And I'm going to put you in here. There you go. Alright, enjoy your stay. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, now. Need to watch for people who will recognize me. There's a few. It's a good few. Alright. That is Ken the Brick Morgan, lawyer and corporate fixer. Yeah, yeah, they call you the Brick, right? Hello, Mr. sir. Morgan, sir. When can I have my suite? Please accept my heartfelt apology for the mishap earlier. The Queen Suite is ready for you. Follow me. Well, that was relatively fast. Very well. Lead the way. Alright. Where do we need to go? What is this? Oh, never mind. Alright, so the Queen Suite is all the way over there. Alright, come on, sir. 
I hate how they walk so slow and you walk so dang fast. Hey, how you doing, man? Yeah, we're back at it. I'm gonna I'm gonna get through these episodes. I haven't played one for a little bit, but we're gonna get through them. I think we got this one and uh, two more, I guess, in like a bonus episode. I don't know. We got we got a good amount of stuff left. So I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully you're doing well. Sir, would you like to walk faster, please? Did you get clean towels? Yes, I have them. Thank you. Is this a bathroom? That's not gonna get us where we need to go. Okay, come this way, sir. Thank you. you. Blind? You can poison these dishes, nice. Who's that security guy? Oh no. That is not good. Who's the jittery guy over there? Looks like another one of those rock stars. Uh, that's Abel De Silva. He's only one of the most awesome drummers on the New York indie scene. Do you mind? We need to talk in private, okay? Sorry, dude. How's Steph? Yeah, you're okay. Uh, that's Abel De Silva. He's only one of the most awesome drummers on the New York indie scene. He was in Death and Taxes and at Flat Earth Society. Yeah, I, I like Top 40. Ah. Anyway, De Silva's filling in for the drummer in Jordan Cross's band, who quit yesterday. Oh, wow. She almost caught me. And I took him up to the restaurant lounge. So Miss, Miss Barrett, the manager, she's going to come get him soon. I should get his autograph. Interesting. The class's regular drummer unexpectedly quit the band, and the record label has flown in a replacement. Upcoming indie drummer Abel De Silva, who is currently waiting in the restaurant lounge. Better yet, Jordan Cross has not previously met Mr. De Silva, and the two of you do share a resemblance, 47. He shares a resemblance with a lot you, of people. You don't deserve his autograph. You deserve poop in a bag. All right, come on, sir. Let's go to the suite. Oh, 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 oh sorry. I got to retract this opportunity. Where is it? This one. Is upstairs some more? How convenient. Yeah, they look exactly alike. How amazing is that? Uh, I'm sorry. I, I can't let any of the domestic help through here. I, I got my orders. Step back, sir. Great. Now they're not even letting guests inside. The lounge? They closed it off? Yeah, the cross people. I mean, it's like they're taking over the place. It's room by room. It's just annoying. Let me see. Do I have anything I can throw at this guy? I guess I can throw this crowbar. Oh, I never found my poison. Dang it. Dang, he's all the way up here. I guess this is the best room in the house, though. So. Yeah, I need to go get my poison. Work don't wait. No, it does not. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Man, there's all kinds of people up here. You are here, sir. Here we are. Everything is to your liking. Hmm. A definite improvement. Survey the rich and powerful. Let's take a closer look. Yes, let's take a closer look. They're all going up there. Where are people not going? Ooh, I'm sure I can poison that. That'll be helpful. Ah, see there? A smear. As expected. But take care of it, please. Alright, I will do that. Thank you. So sloppy. 
I will take care of it, sir. Mm -hmm. Everything seems to be in order here. Ooh, there we go. Poisoned it. Mm-hmm. Covered in dust. I dare say this so-called cleaning was rather superficial, wasn't it? Sorry. I'm doing my best. I'm hoping he's going to take a drink of that wine. And then he'll be on his own. And I can take him out. A definite improvement. Alright. The security guys, what is I need to avoid here? Oh, there's cans here, really? Honestly. Okay, it's gone. Where's it's gone, your sir. Sense of pride? It's gone, sir. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to drink of that nice wine over there? Okay, I got it. I got it, sir. They're gone. Come on. Mm -hmm. What else? What else do you have to complain about? This thing's huge. This is insanely big. Wow. More dust. Excellently done, 47. Uh, Let's make Morgan feel right says. at home. Why am I not surprised? You know what to do. There you go. Now, the scene of the crime. Hmm. Ground zero. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Mm-hmm. Tears clean. Pleasant smell. Oh, this is our chance, right? Hey, that... Jasmine. Hmm. I could have you arrested for being a public nuisance. Are you kidding me? Hmm. I meant to throw it at him and hit him in the head. No visible stains. Well, I'm sure there are other minor oversights, but this week is possible. You may leave. If there is anything else I can do, oh no, so it's dang it! Only to ask. Push pin. Wow, dang it. I'm at the. Ah, shoot. You really should consider one of Bangkok's many fine rehab institutions. Okay, you're annoying. I don't know how to. I wanted to push you off that, but I can't. Would you lean over that again, please, sir? Would you please lean over that balcony, please? Just lean over that balcony for me, sir. Yes, just... Nope. Nope. Oh, Lord! Okay, well, so you didn't want to do it the easy way, so I'm going to do it the hard way. Target down. Now on to Jordan Cross. Ooh, they'll see that. This doesn't look good. I'll check it out. Oh, they found him. Ah, oh, oops. Oops. 
All right, now let's Weird. move on to the next opportunity here. Um, I want to do the microphone thing. Since no one to really recognize this. Hey there. How you doing? Key card reader? How do I get a key card? Why do I need to get a key card? Opportunities. Producer Wes Litson has ordered a brand new. There are rare models removed from the market after causing a number of electrical shock failures, fatalities. Apparently, a production defect makes sounds promising. I track down the crewman who picked up the microphone. Where did I get a key card? Do you have a key card? No. Where the heck do I get a key card? Master key card in the basement. Okay. See, that's Hell what yeah. I need to know. Appreciate it. That's super weird. They wouldn't just say, "Hey, like, I, I don't know." That's weird. They didn't tell you. They wouldn't tell you where the key card is. That's odd. Oh. Sorry, Oh God! God damn! Help! Help! Hey, man, what happened here? Did you have anything to do with it? I uh, know. I don't have a clue what's going on. Okay, I don't. I don't know anything about anything. Um, ah, I'm dead. I'm super dead. I have some something's way off with you. Super dead. I have been thwarted. Oh, hello there, Chef. See you later. I have been forted. I see him right there. How do you know me? Ah! Ah! Yeah, <laughs> I'm super dead. Uh, there's so much. This is so big. Oh, I've already been down here. Ammunition? What is all this? Laundry? Got the key card. Let's go. Opens any door in the hotel. Do I need that guy's outfit? Pushing it. Don't 
Bump into me, man. I'm not playing that game. Okay, well, turn around then. Stop looking at me. Groundskeeper. Oh, no, that's not what I need. Oops. Whatever. I'll keep what I got. I'm just going to hide these bodies. Oh, God. Are they coming? Are they coming? Are they coming? Oh, I want to drag them. Let's go. Come, come, come. Now, can we do the microphone? Yes, let's go. Oh, is this his birthday? No, no, no. The kit looks fantastic, but we're still missing the topper. Could you get one of the kitchen staff to bring it up here? Uh, it's just a pair of numbers, right? 27? Just be a yeah, 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 I'm sure you are, but we can't very well do a surprise party without it, now can we? Well, what's a birthday cake without numbers on it? Mm-hmm. Do you know the hotel owner ordered this cake specifically for his son, right? His only son. Today is Jordan Cross's birthday, and manager Dexy Barrett has prepared a small surprise party for him. The kitchen has baked a special vegan cake to suit his rock star tastes. And the only thing missing is a cake topper with the number 27. I suggest you speed things along, 47. Could be the break we need. But I like the microphone. That's what I thought. Don't take too long. Straighten up. Don't slouch. Sorry. Is this illegal? Where's the microphone? Oh, is it just sitting on the couch? No, it's a golf club. What? Is that guy dead? Should I like help this guy? Is he dead? Is he dying? Hey. Hey, how you doing? Now we gotta go all the way back <laughs> to the other side of the place. All right, here's your microphone, sir. Wes, I have that Branson MD2 mic you ordered. Sweet. Swap it for the one in the booth, yeah? Can't wait to test this baby out. You with the crew? Okay, cool, man. Uh, Wes bought a Branson MD2? Yep. Also known as Old Sparky. Almost bankrupted Branson Tech back in the day. Yeah, well, why would Wes want to use a mic on, with a notorious production error? Wes is uncompromised. Hey, hmm? Always chasing that perfect you sound. Like he once door spent door six door days door. tweaking the That's spring the reverb for Noel bullshit. Wagner's record Can it, until Jordan. Noel had a nervous I'm breakdown and knocked mom. Wes out cold with right. a frying pan. And this other time, Wes locked himself in this. Okay, that's good stories. Let's get out of my way. To shoot anyone from the record company you entered before the mix was just right. I guess it's not. Still, I mean, to, to risk Jordan's life for a particular vocal sound that. All right, we just gotta wait, wait, and then increase the voltage. Just don't crank the voltage. All right, well, keep that in mind. Oh, we're gonna crank that voltage, baby. Where's 
Where'd he go? He's upstairs? How's the sound, Wes? Love the sound, Hardy. It kind of reminds me... <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah. It's very cool. I trust you, Wes. Anybody seen the exit of Jack Cables? Come on, start this session, baby. Start this session. Ready? Hey man, those cables. I'm running. Uh, I mean, they look and sound like this is fast cable. Yeah. That's not it. No, something's not jiving. Show, mate. One step hey, down. Three more to go. Oh, we got it. Okay. Hey, you're on a roll, mate. Okay. So we had to do this to start this. <laughs> the chap's got golden ears. Only one step left. Close, mate, but no cigar. Nicely done, 47. With a little more adjustment, this should make for an electrifying performance. No, you had it. You lost it. How's that tickle you, funny Wes? The overtones on the E string sound a bit muddy. I'm not sure if it's a bad thing, actually. Never mind, keep going. Can do. I thought we were doing good. Ready? I'm right. running. Is it not all good? Hey, Jordan! Feast your ears on that this! That is Jordan Cross, revered and reviled in equal measures. Alright, yeah, let's have a go at the whole track. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, get in there. Here we go. Here we go. This is it. I think this is it. Ready? I'm running. Hey, hey, what's going on? Move the mics, would you please? I think we got uh, phase cancellation. You gonna start singing or no? <laughs> Both targets down. Ah. Now head towards the next. Ah. Accident kill. Oh lord. Well, we got it. We got it. We got it, ladies and gentlemen. We got it. Are we gonna go hop on a boat and get out of here? Sail away? I'll catch you all later. Later. I'm gonna haul off of my boat. <laughs> See ya. Nice, let's go. It was pretty much like two accident kills. Like one of them I pushed off the edge and the other one I shocked to death. That was pretty good. The body of billionaire media mogul Thomas Cross was discovered earlier this evening, slain by multiple gunshot wounds. Cross was scandalously kidnapped this morning at the funeral of his only son, playing one musician, Jordan Cross. The notorious abuse of Thomas Cross has not left his current life in the years, and authorities are now looking into the connection between the two games. Thomas Cross had been
billions in hidden offshore accounts, all stripped clean within hours of the kidnapping. Someone wanted the son dead to lure out the father. Someone smart enough to stay in the shadows while we did the wet work, and the Highmores picked up the check. A shadow client. Someone got rich. The contract was just. That was a sound problem. I know you don't care about politics, 47. But ICA is neutral, or it has been. Can't allow ourselves to be manipulated. Besides... It's happened before. Italy. Morocco. Paris. All our clients got their intel the same way. Anonymous tips from a hidden source. Each contract perfectly legit, yet part of a grander design. I don't see the pattern. Somebody does. The board has asked us to chase down this shadow client, and our analysts are closing in as we speak. I know that tone. Someone's playing a game, 47. The question is... The game's tomb. Dang. Alright, the story gets deeper. And deeper. 